Hi, this is Peter the Clairvoyant here, and I'm doing Aquarius star sign for March 2018. So, Aquarius star sign, March 2018. So, let's see what we get here for you. Okay. Right, so adjust feels with yourselves now. It's like you've got to start trying to look a bit more forward now with your thoughts and ideas. Because sometimes it's like you're not quite pushing yourself. It's almost like you're blocking things from happening a little bit. And here you are sort of um, trying to look forward but not quite doing it. And there are little setbacks with you. And I also feel as though you've got to resolve something to do with work and career. For some of you deciding whether you want a job or whether you want to slow things down or take things a bit easier. And then some of you are definitely going to be focusing on, you know, building things up a little bit. But a few of you are kind of holding yourselves back a little bit. And, and it's like I feel like you've had these blockages and sometimes it's life, sometimes it's the universe and sometimes it's ourselves. But it just feels so bit by bit those blockages are going to start go. So if you see the ball and chain here on the devil card, those are your blockages. And these blockages have been draining you for quite a while. So bit by bit you can start things getting easier. And opportunities are sitting next to your career card so they are there for you. And don't sort of shy away from studying and training and learning new skills. But I just feel so sometimes though there's just a bit of lack of communication around you where it's like you've got to start sort of talking and connecting with people to help you where you're going. Some of you Aquarians are a little bit naughty and I don't mean it like in a negative way, I mean it like in a fun way. You can be quite forward, quite sexual and that's absolutely fine. But sometimes getting that right partner with you on that and in that kind of balance is sometimes difficult because it's like one of you wants one thing, one of you wants the other. And, and sometimes it's kind of finding that sort of balance where we can connect with each other. And, and I just feel so if you're just moving forward into a relationship or trying to find a relationship and you're wanting that kind of connection, then I just feel so do be a bit picky because I feel so if you start to connect with somebody new and you've not got that kind of connection, you're not going to enjoy it. And it's going to sort of frustrate you a little bit. So make sure you're getting it right. And, you know, it sounds a bit sort of a bit funny, a bit embarrassing, but it's not. We're human. We've all got our own thoughts and feelings. And, you know, we like to have that passion. Now, passion comes in many shapes and forms, but passion comes in sex as well. And I just feel so it's like you do need that kind of connection. And, and I feel so it's there for you. So even if it takes you a little bit longer to find what you're looking for, so be it. Why worry about it? There's nothing wrong with it. So, you know, don't feel like you're being different. And for those of you in relationships, you Aquarians may want to feel a bit more adventurous and want your partner to do a little bit more or be a little bit adventurous. And so to get him to do that won't be sort of easy because you're trying to get him out of his comfort zone or her comfort zone a little bit. And it just feels, like, well, do it gradually and slowly and gently. And I feel like you'll get there. So, you know, it's there. I feel like, you know, these things can happen. So, you know, see what happens. But I feel like now it's all about getting creative, whether it's personally, physically, or career-wise. There's a lot of creativity around you now. So get out there now and start making things happen for yourself. Um, and I just feel so definitely you've got to start speaking your mind a little bit more. There's some things connected with the past that have got to be resolved around you. And some of you can be thinking about children wanting a child. And I feel someone that's there for you again. So I just feel as though all these little things now are there for you. But I feel like it's all about getting your communication across in the right way. So we don't have rows, we don't have arguments. We just gently talk about things and perhaps pick the right time to do it. And sometimes we can never really pick the right time. Sometimes we just got to come straight out with it and say what we feel. But I'm sure if we could find that right moment, then it could make things easier. So it's all looking good. I feel so health-wise, keep an eye on your shoulders aching a little bit. Um, keep an eye on your left hip and and I just feel so and just make sure you're looking after yourself generally because some of you I feel so are wanting to keep fit or to diet and I feel so and that's absolutely fine but don't overdo it and do bear in mind I feel so especially for you ladies who've maybe got a little bit of weight on or whatever it may be I feel like your partner isn't really too worried about you losing weight because they like you for who you are and what you are 
Um, it's almost like I feel as though you've been that way for a while, some of you, and your partner likes, if you don't mind me saying it like this, a wholesome woman. So, you know, if you're doing it for yourself and you feel so you need to do it, fair enough. But if you're doing it for other people, I don't think you need to. I think there's other issues at work here that need looking at and resolving, not so much the way you look. But I'm certainly not saying don't diet or to, you know, be overweight. But I think you know what I'm on about here. There just, seem, <laughs> there just seems to be, in your reading, a lot of sexual chemistry here. And it seems to be coming out even the way I look. So, and I don't think you've got to worry about that so much. That's what it's saying. But if you feel so you need to do it for your own health and well-being, yeah, you do it. But if you think you're doing it for just sort of get your partner to look at you a bit differently, I don't think that's the answer. So, communication. You need to talk about things. Um, yeah. I could go a bit more in detail to this, but I don't feel like I, I, I want to. I mean, I know I'm not giving you a private reading, but it all gets a bit personal, don't it? Um, but I think you know what I'm on about. I don't think I have to spell it out. So I'll let you think about it. I'll let your mind wander a little bit of what I'm on about. Um, so you know what I'm on about. It's there. So just keep doing what you're doing now, and I feel as though you'll be fine. And let's have a look at your angels. Right, have confidence, so confidence in yourself, confidence in your body, confidence in your career, confidence, mm. I think that's the appropriate word for your reading, very appropriate. So that feels though, that's quite interesting. So I just feel as though, go out there now and just start believing in yourself a little bit and I feel as though as you do that, you'll, you'll feel quite good. I feel so some of you are going to be thinking about perhaps having a small break like a weekend away or going on a caravan holiday. And I feel so it's all good. So go out there and do that. I feel so it's great. And some of you may be trying to do the house up or the home and, and sort of get things right there a little bit, get things homely. And I feel so that's all good as well. So I just feel so everything's there. But do watch out for somebody around you. I feel so within friendships or family, somebody who's not feeling too well and you may sort of try and be there for them to sort of pull them through a little bit. And I just feel so that the aim there is focusing on their, what's the word I'm looking for, their immune system. The immune system is very low. So they could be sort of getting bugs and colds or there may be some serious illnesses around them um, and their immune system just needs lifting up a little bit. So drinking fresh fruit drinks, but I'm talking homemade blended drinks, you know, to really boost their energy levels with all those natural lovely vitamins and that. And it feels like that'd be good. And also try and get some meat in, um, natural iron and eating fresh fish, so the omega to sort of focus the memory in the brain. All these things are good for us. So that's great. So other than that, I just feel so it's fine. And, and you know, again, sort of being on the naughty level as well, you know, get creative with the food in relationships a little bit, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying that. I, I just don't know why, but I'm feeling a bit naughty with the Aquarians. Ooh. So, yes. So see where all that kind of comes in. Hope it makes sense to you. Right. So I hope all that was good. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope some of that made sense to you. Um, if you want a private reading with me, so please connect with me through Facebook, Peter the Clairvoyant, or my website, peterthecleavoyant.co.uk. Um, so that's great. Um, so go out there now and see where life takes you a little bit. Thank you.